Hello friends, my name is Gisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the default method which is available on the functional interface is called binary operator. So earlier we have talked about the binary operator and binary operator uh, functional interface extends by function interface which is also a functional interface uh, that inherits this abstract method but uh, this binary operator uh, functional interface has some default method as well there are two default method first method is mean by and second method is max by so mean by basically takes uh, argument of comparator and that returns uh, binary operator itself and uh, basically uh, he mean y basically compares two elements and whichever, whichever is the minimum that gets returned by this method and similarly we have a max y and that also takes comparator as a input parameter and that returns binary operator itself and uh, max y i mean that method name itself indicating that this will compare two elements and whichever will be the maximum value that will be returned by this method and these two method is static so directly you can access by the interface name right so let's try to understand uh, these two apis through an example so here i have created a project here i have created a project with name binary operator default methods demo and uh, i have created a class with main method and I'm going to create a custom class it's called employee and package now I would give com dot info take dot model and custom class I'm gonna create is employee and employee will have some fields like private string name employee will have a name private uh, double I would say salary and third field I'm gonna add private string DEPT name it's a department name so these are the three fields so for simplicity just I have added three fields but you can add more fields as well so here I'm going to initialize these fields through constructor so let's generate constructor using fields so and now let's create a getter method of this private field so let's select the getters and this will generate the public getter method so that's all this so simple a bean class right which holds three private methods a constructor and public method for all these private variables right so now come to this main method here i'm gonna create a list of employee list of employee i would say emp list equal to new and you can take any implementer of l list so here i'm going to take array list so press ctrl shift o for organize import now this list i'm going to add some employee object so employee name employee so employee will have a name salary so let's say salary is 70,000 department I'm going to add HR department and employee name I'm going to specify A so for simplicity just I have taken a single character name and I'm going to add four employee HR department A B C and T. Now salary I'm going to specify like twenty thousand. Now I would say five thousand, and I would say let's say uh, sorry thirty thousand. Now I'm going to add some more. Uh, again I'm going to extra four elements again, and I would give the name X y z and p and salary at this time i'm gonna initialize like thirty thousand this keep it 20 itself now 10 and ninety thousand right 
and this department I'm going to specify finance finance so all these four belongs to the finance department so here basically just I am adding I mean number of employees into list in real scenario you can read this data from the somewhere in the file system right and suppose this list contains millions of record and you want to do some manipulations then these things I mean, uh, I mean next we I'm going to use some stream API right so stream API is very handy when your collection contains huge amount of data and you want to do some manipulation right right so here now in this list uh, okay before list I'm going to use comparator so you know we have a comparator interface is again a functional interface so comparator interface has a lot of lot of default method if you go to the comparator interface then this interface contains one abstract method and a lot of default method have been added in the JDK 1.8 so wherever you see a small symbol D so these are the default methods so here I am going to use a method is called as comparing and comparing uh, takes a functional interface as an argument right so this method i'm gonna use right so saying that key extracted so this come comparing uh, api i'm going to use which is a again a static method right so here i'm going to use uh, like employee and based on the salary i want to i want to find uh, I mean department HR department whose salary is the maximum and whose is minimum similarly in finance department I want to find whose salary is uh, maximum and whose is minimum salary so that's my uh, main goal so here get uh, you can say salary so this comparator I have created so this I would say salary comparator right so it's a salary comparator now uh, let's this list I'm going to call a stream method on it so we have a stream a stream dot uh, we can call collect method right so stream as a collect API inside the collect I'm going to use collector collectors is a utility class so collectors has a lot of API one of the API I'm going to use something is called group by which takes two parameter right so uh, I am going to use this one which takes first parameter the functional interface itself and second is the uh, downstream that is a collector itself so here what I am going to specify so here I would say employee and double colon I want to uh, get department name so get department name and here downstream uh, I'm going to use binary binary operator so binary sorry binary operator and binary operator has a two default method right and do to a static method so directly we can call by interface name so I'm going to call max by first of all I'm going to use max by that's the agent of this video tutorial so just I wanted to show you how to use max by and mean by method which is available on the uh, binary operator functional interface right so and now here I'm going to a comparator already I have created a salary comparator that I'm going to pass it over here okay so so why this guy is throwing an error So I think one more parenthesis is required over here and we so steam dot collectors dot group by and group by has a two parameter mm, collectors group by and collectors dot uh, sorry collectors dot I was what I have used that song collector uh, 
now again I, I was supposed to use collectors dot reducing right second parameter was reducing reducing right which accepts a binary operator right so here now use we can use binary operator and binary operator has a method is called max y right and here we can pass this comparator salary comparator right now one parenthesis extra now this this is so long so just i'm going to break it over here and this will return the collect right and let's this this returns us the map so key would be the i mean key would be the uh, department name and value is with the uh, option of employee so i would say uh, max uh, employee in emp in emp sorry max variable let me going to give max cell max cell by dpt map i have given like this now this map we can iterate through enhance for loop right sorry for each loop which accepts by consumer as parameter so i would say sorry so first is the dpt name right so dpt name itself then second uh, we have a what is the uh, second emp uh, so for emp emp itself and i'm going to define lambda expression over here right so this would be give you the department name itself so let's print department name and emp dot get right when you say emp dot get name then this will return you the employee itself so let's override two string method in method in uh, employee class so i have overridden two string method in employee class now if I, I i could print employee details as well right so employee detail so this will give you the i mean employee whose salary is maximum in every department so if i could print this so see in finance department so let me show you finance department whose salary is the maximum i mean employee whose name is p is the is having the maximum salary in HR department employee whose name is A uh, having the maximum salary right so let's uh, change this data like 30,000 now I'm going to make this guy a maximum salary like 1 lakh now if I run then at this time saying that finance department P having the maximum salary that's true but in HR department C is having the maximum salary so i hope you enjoyed learning this now i'm going to copy this code and i would say if you want to get the minimum salary then mean and instead of here max you will have to use second api right and this is the code or code almost would be same and here just i want to separate this output if i run it then this will give you the c finance department uh, whose salary is the uh, still that is showing maximum right so second uh, output i wanted to give minimum salary so mean group by so what mistake we have done okay so i was supposed to give this map name and if you iterate it now second map will give you the uh, now second uh, iteration when second time we have executed this code then x is having the minimum salary in department finance and b is having the less salary in department hr so this code i am going to upload on the github so that you can download and can run on the local machine so thanks for watching this video i hope this 
example is pretty straightforward so you understood so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial.